In this series of videos, we are going to focus on Aspen Hysis software. Aspen Hysis software is a software that is usually focusing on oil and gas industry. So if you are in the oil and gas industry, Aspen Hysis is the right option for you. If you are in a chemical and petrochemical engineering, uh, you will find out that there is another software called Aspen Plus and it's more focused on uh, this term of uh, industry. Okay. So at the beginning, when we open Aspen, Aspen Hysis, we will see this page. This page include, you can create your new case. So anything that you are creating inside Aspen Hysis will be your case. And you can, instead of creating your case from scratch, you can use some templates that is, has been built in Aspen Hysis. You can create your new template from here. This template is like you are saving as in uh, Word or uh, PowerPoint, which means you are going to use this template that you have created in another time. Like if I have a distillation unit in uh, my first plant and the second plant and they are a similar um, distillation unit. So I am going to create one template for this distillation unit and I can integrate this template inside the first plant and also the second plant. This one will be created by the user. There is another templates like the reformer, the hydro cracker, the FCC, which is fluidized catalytic cracking, uh, sulfur recovery unit. All of this unit has been already created by Aspen Heise software. All, all you are going to do is do entering the data or the information that you have. This is to facilitate a complicated refinery process because all of this um, uh, here from hydro cracker reformal residual hydro processor fcc and stuff th this one two three four this are related to the refinery process more than the separation so the refinery includes a chemical reaction but the separation or the physical separation such as the distillation is a physical process so uh, let's jump to Aspen Hysis to see what is inside. So if we are going to click new and in this case, we are going to start with assemble. Uh, we are going to create a new case through this course. It will get complicated and we are going to create a template for the refinery, but we need to start simple at the beginning. So here I'm going to create a new case. When you uh, click here, create a new case, you will have this interface appearing here. We have the home view customize and resources inside the home you will have a lot of, here at the top you will find a lot of information that will be covered through this course but to start your case you always look at the messages so here when we open just always be careful with the messages what it is asking for okay so here at the beginning we read it from bottom to top or put top to bottom it's up to you for here as the beginning we need to define the component and also the fluid package at the beginning we are asked about the component what does this mean the component is the material inside your plant like if you are uh, using um, a crude oil and it is entering the distillation unit so your material here and the, or the components is a crude oil so in this case you need to define the component so if we are doing an electrolyzer for the water um, and we are using water hydrolysis uh, or el the electrolyzer to generate green hydrogen in this case my component will be the water and also the products in this case i'm having hydrogen and oxygen so we are not looking only in the um, section related to the feed to define the component we look also at the products so if i am having uh, sodium and the chloride reacting together to have sodium chloride in this case the component would be sodium chloride and sodium also chloride as a product okay so just be careful when you are defining the component not to forget adding the products as well as adding the uh, uh, reactants that you have so as a beginning you, when we look here we have two active uh, option you can add your component from here we have two libraries. The first one is the library from Hysis. 
and second one from Aspen Libraries. Most of the time during the scholars, we are using the library from HISIS. We we don't need for information from Aspen Proverbs. It's like more advanced. Uh, so I'm going to add a component list from HISIS. I here I have it chose it chosen HISIS by clicking on it. So as a beginning, we are asked about the component list, and you can name your component list like. Here I'm going to rename my component list, give it a unique name, and the name for my list may be my natural gas. Okay, so here I have a component list including natural gas. Natural gas is the methane and some traces of ethane. Okay, so here I am aware that I am having two components, not only one component. So here this is the methane. You can search for uh, the machine is a your component okay so let's start from here you can select the type of component that you have the component that you have can be a pure component like oxygen nitrogen hydrogen methane ethane propane all of these are pure component the second one is hypothetical the hypothetical component is not a real component it's a hypothetical one but why it's important because is this thing um it doesn't exist in nature like as it is it's created for industrial reasons like if we are doing the distillation and we have a cut called the gasoline the compound now or the component now is called gasoline the gasoline includes a lot of hydrocarbons like c5 c6 c7 and so on so inside this hypothetical component we have other pure components but this component which is gasoline doesn't exist in our real life okay it is not pure we are extracting it but by doing processes okay so here for the pure components we have methane ethane propane if you choose a hypothetical component you are going to create a hypothetical component and to define the information that you need here I'm going to start simple by choosing the pure component. You can search for any component here, like if I'm going to write carbon dioxide, carbon, or carbon here, we have a carbon. You can edit, select it, and press add. It will be added here. After adding it, if you look here, the status now is okay. If I delete this component by selecting it and clicking remove, it will be an empty it will be red which means we have an empty component list in aspen hoises the red here means you have an error you need to fix this if it's yellow it's like a warning you need to take care of some steps if it's a green it's okay so here if i'm going to add a carbon but here we are talking about natural gas so i am looking for methane m e t h methane my pure component methane okay so this is my first component i'm looking for it will be methane this is a simulation name the full name of this component is methane and the formula for it is ch4 this is a hydrocarbon this is the simplest hydrocarbon one carbon atom related to with a single bond to four hydrogens okay so i'm going to add this one over here again one component was enough to uh, transfer the status from um, empty to okay here i also need to add ethane because i know that it my uh, natural gas is a mixture from ethane and methane so i'm going to choose or select this one and i am going to um, add it here so now i have two pure components which is methane and ethane in our next video we are going to learn how to add another hypothetical component